everybody. Welcome to our online Boxing Day service. We thank you for joining with us today. We pray you and your family have had a great Christmas. We've got so much happening in our online service today. We've got worship from our creative team, and we've also got a word from our senior pastor, Ben Sattler. It's gonna be a great service, so sit back and enjoy.
my dreams are small compared to yours Why should I worry about tomorrow when I know that all I gotta do is trust you, Lord Every little thing's gonna be alright Every little thing's gonna be just fine Cause whether I can see it now I know you will work it out for good Every little thing, everything will be alright Behind the scenes and in the details You planned the perfect way for me Why would I dwell upon the roads and certainties When all I gotta do is look to you Yeah, all I gotta do is look to you Every little thing Cause whether I can see it now I know you will work it out for good Every little thing, everything will be alright Don't 
Welcome to our online Boxing Day service. It's so great to have you joining with us today. We're looking forward to being back in the room on Sunday, the 2nd of January, and starting the new year strong together. And so I want to encourage you to come and join us and be part of that. But today I just want to share a short word and encourage you around what has been our theme for the year, Stronger. And so why don't we pray, and then we'll get into the Word of God together this morning. Lord Jesus, I just thank you for your word. I thank you that your word strengthens, your word word builds, your word helps us to become who you're calling us to be. And we thank you that it has the power to shape our thinking and help us to live lives that glorify you. And I pray for these next few moments together that you would really speak to us from your word. We thank you for it in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're coming to the end of the year. And we're about to start a new year. And it's really a time of reflection, a time where we think back about what God has done in 2021. And we start to prepare our hearts for what is ahead in 2022. It's really been our desire this year that we would see our church community grow stronger. Stronger in God, stronger in a sense of community as the church, as the body of Christ, and stronger in our purpose. Knowing that God has called each and every one of us with a purpose. He has plans for our lives to help extend and to build our lives so that we can achieve everything that he has for us. You know, the Apostle Paul, he said, coming to the end of his life in 2 Timothy chapter 4, he said these words, he said, I have fought the good fight. I have finished the race. I have kept the faith. And he was really coming to the end of his life. And as he was coming to this moment, he was speaking to his son in the faith, Timothy, and he was saying that I've fought the good fight. I have given every part of me and I have done all that I could to see the kingdom of God extended. I've run the race and I have kept the faith. And I think coming to the end of this year and getting ready for the start of next year, 
It's great to be able to think about our lives. How are we going in our relationship with God? How are we going when it comes to our strength in community and our church family? How are we going when it comes to the individual purpose that God has for our life and living by purpose each and every day? I want to encourage you. God has incredible plans ahead for you. Let's not shrink back and let the seasons dictate to us. But let's understand that God is with us. He's for us. And that in our weakness, God's strength is made perfect. Even when the challenges feel great and we don't think in our own strength we can do it. We can always trust in the strength of God. You know, in Job chapter 17, verse 9, it really articulates for us the vision of this year. It's been our key scripture. And it's a passage of scripture where in that chapter, Job is under a whole range of affliction and challenge. He is under challenge when it comes to his family situation. He'd lost loved ones. He's under uh, challenge and stress when it comes to his financial position. When it comes to his friends and his social world, it felt like every part of his life was imploding. Around and about him was chaos and destruction. And in that moment, as he was complaining about many things to his friends, just in that moment, in this verse in Job chapter 17, verse 9, it's like Job just stills his heart for a moment. And instead of speaking about the chaos around him, he speaks to his soul on the inside. And he says these words, he says, the righteous keep moving forward and those with clean hands or a pure heart grow stronger and stronger. It's like in that moment, he reminds himself, God is with me. I'm not going to shrink back in this season. I'm going to step forward and understand that I can grow stronger, even in a season of challenge, that I can take territory and move forward and live purposefully, even in the obstacles that were surrounding his life. And I think for all of us, it's a great reminder that God's strength is made perfect in our weakness, even when we feel in our humanity like we can't do it. We can be reminded, just like Job, that if God's with us, we can grow stronger. We can continue to move forward and step into our future confidently and boldly. You know, when it talks about in Scripture, the fight of faith, it's a call for each one of us to take our place and to understand that we live life in a spiritual battle. We have joined the kingdom of light and therefore we have challenges that come against us in life. But as people of faith, we've made the decision not to walk by sight, but to walk by faith. In other words, we're not living just in the natural realm. We're understanding that we are walking spiritually. We're walking with vision and purpose. We're looking to Jesus in every season. When it talks about the fight of faith, that word fight is is a word in the Greek that actually means agony. It talks about the struggle and the challenge of faith. And I think that's true for us, that faith brings great peace to our life, but it also brings great challenge. And it's a struggle at times to walk by faith, to live in faith is both peaceful and a challenge. And it might feel like at times there's chaos around you, but there's a reminder today that we have God's peace to hold us and to keep us strong in the seasons. I remember my football coach when I was a teenager and uh, he would come to us for the halftime speech every time that we played a game. And it would be the same speech kind of repeated every match. We'd usually be down by quite a considerable amount of points. And he would get there with his uh, singlet on, his thongs on and his and his footy shorts. And he'd be there and he'd be like, boys, it's not about the... Dog in the fight. It's about the fight in the dog. And he'd speak these words over us to try and get us to be motivated for the second half of the match. And to remind us that we have the strength and to steal a team to be able to step forward onto the field again for that second half and play a great uh, second half of the match. And I think for all of us, it's a bit like that when it comes to the life of faith. That we are called to be people that don't just accept the circumstances, but we understand that in our spirit, we can stir ourselves up in faith 
to be people that live big spirited, not shrinking because of the seasons, but actually understanding God's got great plans and purposes. Let's step forward into them confidently and boldly. We're people of faith. I love this great quote. Someone once said, faith is the bird that sings when the dawn is still dark. And I think for all of us, we had that call in our lives to continue to sing, to continue to declare, to continue to grow stronger and to actually understand that God wants to do great things in and through our lives. So we're talking about being stronger in God, stronger in community and stronger in purpose. We had this great pamphlet at the start of the year that we had and we really declared over this year that we would be stronger. And we really believe that each of us would step into that individually and that together corporately, we'd be stronger. And so I want to talk about that, being stronger in God. How do you feel coming to the end of this year, 2021? Do you feel stronger? Maybe you felt like this has been a year of challenge. Maybe you felt like you've slid out in your relationship with God. Or maybe it's been hard or it's been difficult. Or maybe you've done really well. Either way, wherever you find yourself today, we have an opportunity to step into 2022 growing stronger. See, we are made as human beings to connect with God. We are made to be in relationship with Him. And when our lives connect with God, and when we find ourselves in a living relationship with God, we find ourselves living from a place of strength, just like a phone will eventually grow out of charge. The battery will get flat if we don't charge it and plug it into power. So it is with our spiritual lives. We aren't made just to make a decision one day to serve Jesus, but to never actually continue to connect. We're actually made to regularly connect with Jesus. And so I want to encourage you when it comes to the end of this year and getting into the start of 2022, let's make the decision now that we want to grow stronger, that we want to connect to power. We want to connect to God, even in a greater capacity. We want to make sure that we are in a vital, genuine, authentic relationship with Jesus. Not just going through the motions, but being genuine with God. And so this year, as we come to 2022 and what's before us, let's make the decision that we're going to grow closer to God. The second thing is growing closer in community. When we understand that we aren't meant to do life alone, but we're called to do life in community, we understand that we are people that have an opportunity to do life together, to build up the body of Christ, to play our part so that the church can grow and develop and become all that it's meant to be. So the thing about connecting is we have a charger that connects us to power, but we also have the ability when we do connect When we do make that decision to connect with one another, we have the opportunity to join a network which links us and helps us to be able to access more things. It's the beauty of the internet. It's the beauty of our phone being able to connect to a network so that we can call and connect with one another and send messages. And that's kind of like what the church is about. It's about connecting people to God and connecting people with each other. And this year, When it comes to 2022 and comes to all that is ahead for us at the start of the end of this year and the start of this new year, why don't we make the decision that we're going to grow closer in community, that we're going to be stronger in community, that we're going to make church a real priority for ourselves and for our family. And finally, when it comes to living with purpose, God's just not called us just to be content with knowing God ourselves and just loving our church community. He's actually called us to reach the world. It says in Scripture, He's given us the great commission to go out into all the world and make disciples. And that hasn't changed. From 2,000 years ago when God spoke that to His disciples, it's, God is still speaking to us that same message today. He hasn't deviated from it. He hasn't gone on pause in the season. God's calling us to go and make disciples. So I want to encourage you today, where perhaps it's been easy to draw back or to be self-focused, let's make a decision to live selflessly, to understand that when we connect with God, we find power, we find that vitality that God has called us to have. When we connect with each other, we start to open up a network where we can 
move forward and access things. And what that actually does is it helps us flourish and it helps us achieve our purpose. When we all play our part, the church is built up and the church moves forward. So what do we believe in when it comes to the end of this year and the beginning of, of 2022? We're believing that you would be stronger. The righteous keep moving forward and those with clean hands become stronger and stronger. Let's not just be content just to go along with a mediocre faith, but let's continue to press forward and understand that in our weakness, God is calling us to, for his strength to come and invade our lives that would be conduits of his power and his strength for God to work in us and through us. As we come to the end of this year and the start of the new year, let's believe that we're going to start 2022 strong and we're going to continue to move forward in all that God has for our life. So Lord, I pray for City Church. I pray for this year this year that we've had, Lord God, and, and the year that we are, have to come, Lord God. We thank you for what you've done in us this past year. And we pray for the year ahead that it would be filled with your promise, that it would be filled with favor and your blessing, and that we would continue to step forward into everything that you have for us with confidence and boldness. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, we are believing today that you enjoy the rest of your boxing day, and uh, we're looking forward for you joining together again on the 2nd of January in person at City Church for our 9.30 service. We'd love to have you join us there, but be blessed, church. Enjoy your boxing day with friends and family, and we'll see you very, very soon. Thanks, Ben, for that great message today. We've got some great things coming up at City Church. Just around the corner in January is Summer Mix for all of our youth and young adults. Why don't you check out this video for all the info. Starting on the 1st of January, we have an online devotional. You can join with us on our Facebook page, City Church Australia, and you can also join via our website, citychurchau.com. Why don't you start your year off strong by joining us for this 14-day devotional. Church is back on Sunday, the 2nd of January, 9.30 a.m. We're starting our year off with a family service. Come and join with us. It's gonna be a great day in God's house. Well, thanks everybody for joining with us today for our online service. We look forward to seeing you on the 2nd of January. If you're going on holidays, be blessed, travel safe. Everyone else, have a blessed week.